Hi everybody, it's the Juilliard here and welcome to the studio. Uh, so this is just to show you the quick test that I did the other day with a shaper sheet. And actually this would probably work with uh, certain heavier grades of aluminum, um, but definitely works for shaper sheet. So um, I didn't put any plastic down. <laughs> I just cut the shaper sheet, built it up, scored it, laid in my, my lines and my design, like I said, uh, and then I filled the piece with the resin, okay? This is a two-part epoxy. So let's just see if we can get it to loosen itself from the foil. I have some areas here where it still wants to stick. So we'll just keep going on around. And I'm doing this um, while it's still a little warm, I mean, excuse me, uh, still a little soft, not really completely cured, but I wanted to see if it was feasible. I had a crack in it, so hopefully that didn't mess with anything. I think if I would just have left it a little longer or it was much harder as opposed to, it was thin, really, really cool in the studio last night. So, okay, so you can see that if I do that, we kind of end up um, with the foil being a little messed up, but I could still use it for something else. I'm not really concerned and could probably go back and use it again for this and just roll it out. But um, anyway, that's not too bad. I actually think that's pretty cool and it's still pliable because like I said, it is cool in here. So if I wanted to, you know, shape this, oh, that'd make a nice collar. Look at that. I might wear that. <laughs> But anyway, uh, you get the idea is, is that it's still flexible, movable. Um, these ends I could easily fix up, no problem. Yeah, I'm actually pretty pleased with that. Like I said, it was just little bits left over of my resin, and I had my other piece of shaper sheet that was already formed, so I just thought, you know what, let's just put it directly into the aluminum. I know that I've had some other tests I've done where, you know, resin doesn't stick to the aluminum. It would peel right off. So, um, but something this big, I was like, eh, maybe not so, maybe not, might not work as well. So anyway, but it did. So there it is. Hmm. Imagine that. And formable. So yeah. Okay. So I just let that sit and let it finish curing out and... I would call that a really cool wave and then detail it later. Okay. Julie Art signing out. Bye guys. Have a good day. Happy creating.